first we will install the httpd server so this is the command for installation of httpd server apache server and version 2.2 is right now downloading 832k or 2.9m size of the installation is a started and let's check which version of so here is the two point pub mkdir pub1 now we can so here you see apache 2.2 15 cents for a server at localhost port 80 so here we can see the banner first of all we have to remove this banner so let's see how to remove this banner from apache server it will reveal the information about apache server and about the operating system which operating system is installed in your dedicated server and also in your vps server so let's see how to remove the banner just we have to go through the httpd slash conf folder and from here httpd.conf we have to find out first of all first option server tokens just write it down here prod server signature so here we write it down off save the file uh, before I'll show you before restart the HTTPD server Apache server here you can see uh, Apache 2.2 and CentOS server at localhost port 80 now we can restart the server and now if we refresh it here you can see the banner is invisible so which server and which version are running which operating system is running is not shown here how to disable directory listening from here so it's a very simple just go to the httpd.com find the file find the sorry find the htaccess and from htaccess just remove the index I already write in here you can see just write option follow symlinks remove the index save the file and restart the server and that's it here now you can see forbidden
disable unwanted modules in Apache server. So which modules are loaded? Let's see from this command. Apache. Here is the command, first command and a second similar command is here. Minus M. Both command are used for see which modules are loaded or not. So here you can see. Uh, so unnecessary modules we can disable it. So let's see. Just go into httpd dot com and find the mod user uh, dot dev so just put the hashtag mod info it's not necessary here is another one dir use your dir and these modules are no need so we disable it yes save So let's create the user first. Uh, sorry, let's create the group first. SF and now create the user. Add minus G. SF. SF. And now let's give the permission to the directory sf sf ww html now let's modify the file go to the user and a group just write it down user and group name is sf and group is also sf save it restart the service now let's see 